like to open our meditation session with a prayer and invocation to the lineage of gurus that are guiding me and we'll invite them in to guide us in our meditation and help us with our concentration. Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, dearest friend, beloved God, great masters of self-realization, Jesus Christ, Babaji Krishna, Lahiri Maharshai, Swami Sri Yukteswar, beloved Guru Paramhansa Yoganandaji, great saints and sages of all traditions, we humbly and lovingly invoke your presence and bow before you all. Make us like you, attune us with your consciousness and magnetize our molecules with your magnetic presence. Be here now with us. Divine Mother, awaken your love in us and teach us to awaken that love in all. Om, peace, amen. So in this week's meditation, I'd love to focus on joy <laughs> and feeling joy purposefully and every day feeling joy, even though we're in a time here on earth that is so full of so many challenges and uncertainties. I think we need it now more than ever. And so I'm making really that my commitment and what I'm interested in sharing with people is that we can be happy and we can decide as friends to be happy and have fun no matter what happens in the world around us. And we can practice in our meditations feeling joy and feeling calmness. If you're new to this meditation practice, we're practicing tuning into our ability to concentrate. And after we get into a, a, a calm concentration, and we attune ourselves and we commune with the divine qualities, including peace and calmness and joy, and love and wisdom, and the sound of Om, the light between the eyebrows, feeling of energy in the body. These are all available to us at all times. Our life, you know, situations oftentimes get in the way and distract us. So that's what we're practicing um, together. And in this time that we're here on earth, you know, we're often, you know, we're always being affected by the planetary alignments, things that are um, changing and shaping the earth. And the way that I see it and the way that this lineage of gurus talks about where we're at currently um, in the cycle of time is that we are in, in the age of energy and an upward cycle on the, in the age of energy. So things are getting better, believe it or not. <laughs> and if you look around, you know, like we have this many people, you know, uh, on a Wednesday night, instead of at a bar, we're here meditating. This is incredible, amazing. I could, you know, I've only used to dream of having a time like this, you know. Um, so many more people are interested in exploring their consciousness through you know, psychedelics and through meditation and breath work and yoga, um, it's getting better. So remember that and let's, let's decide to be happy and we can practice that. So I'm happy to say I practice Kriya Yoga and, and every day I feel happiness. I feel joy legitimately, even though, you know, no matter what happens during the day, like I can feel that joy. Um, so even if we get to a place, you know, with gas prices going so crazy, say we're not able to travel and fly and go on vacations and things like that, you know, we do all that to feel joy. So um, even though some of these things that are happening or, you know, the, the markets are crashing, you know, probably not a lot of us in here are invested in the stock market but probably a few of us in here are invested in cryptocurrency and that's crashing, you know? And so these things, um, you know, there's a lot of things that are here to present us with challenges. And every time there's a challenge that comes our way, 
we can meet it and learn and grow from it. Um, this is a video game that we're in, and um, we're meant to grow and learn from everything that comes up. You know, if you're playing a video game and you're facing, you know, challenges in the game, you don't get upset and, you know, throw it away because, you know, you had to uh, cross a moat or some, whatever you had to do in the game. Um, so that's what we're doing here, you know, and we're reminding ourselves that this is, this is a game, this is a play, we're supposed to have fun. Um, and, you know, as, as things start to crumble around, around us, I say let it burn because the way that, the way things have been going, you know, there's a huge imbalance of the wealth on the planet. There's a huge dependency on fossil fuels, like the way that we grow our food and consume resources is not <laughs> ideal and it could never last, you know? So we're finding ourselves in a time where there's a karmic reckoning for all of that. So it can seem scary, but I challenge us all to, as friends, to encourage each other not to be afraid, you know, and use meditation and use these tools daily so that we can keep stoking that fire together, you know? So um, let's have fun no matter what, you know, that's, that's the goal. And I think that um, we can help each other to do that. And even when, you know, uh, when we're in uh, places of uh, feeling joy, we can actually offer that to others who are struggling and actually be able to show up for our friends and our family members and people who are struggling. And then when we're struggling, they can help us, you know, and go back and forth that way. And so, um, yeah, so I just want to really invite us all to kind of have that mindset for this meditation. Um, it is a, you know, meditation isn't like you start off in a, a, you know, in a desert and you're just, you know, climbing your way with no water through a desert to eventually reach nirvana, you know. It becomes brighter and more interesting and more flowers and more water and things like that on the way as you, as you travel. The more you meditate, the more you're going to want to meditate. It's like, the more you paint, the more you enjoy painting, the more you skateboard, the more you like skateboarding. So, um, you know, I can sit here as a friend of yours who like really enjoys meditating all the time and I tell you it really works, you know, and the more you do it, the more you'll enjoy doing it. So um, it's great to have friends here to do it with together. We're going to be using a affirmation for happiness. I really found this is this is a Yogananda taught. Um, lineage of gurus and I am studying under teachers at Ananda Church of Self-Realization. Um, this lineage of gurus and Yogananda, he taught um, what, what he called scientific healing affirmations. All of these methods are scientific, you know, if you do them in the right way, the way that they're taught, then you will have these results. And I have found that um, using daily affirmation is very powerful. Our brains, you know, are able to be programmed, you know, throughout our lives, our brains have been um, cultivated to think the way that we're thinking now, you know, they've been all of the things that we've gone through have, have made us um, think a certain way or think certain things are possible and not possible and all of that. So with, with um, affirmations, we actually become like the programmers of our minds, we're actually um, changing the physiology of our brains when we're um, putting these new thoughts and repeating them. So we're going to use a, an affirmation for happiness, and we're going to make a declaration, really, uh, to be happy under every circumstance, you know? And the more that you say that out loud, and you know, the more that you do that with your friends and holding each other accountable, it's like, um, the more it's like, well, it feels possible, <laughs> you know? Um, and we'll be using a technique known as Hong Sa. This is, this is what Yogananda taught as a, a powerful technique from India as a way to cultivate concentration. Now, if we can learn to concentrate 100% on one thing, then we have incredible power. So if we can learn to concentrate on this simple technique of watching the breath and using the mantra, each breath, we get another chance to try it again, you know? Our minds will drift and then we'll bring them back 
but every time you were getting stronger and learning how to concentrate more. And then in your daily life, you can use this new ability to concentrate, concentrate on whatever it is that you're doing. You know, if you're thinking about other things while you're working on something, then it's not as good as it could be if you were focused. So that's a great uh, reason to learn how to meditate is so that you can focus fully on whatever it is you're doing. It also creates a feeling of calmness within us. And there's a few techniques. We're going to be a really quick way to dissolve the tension in the body. And you can use this during any time of the day, but before meditation. So it's a double inhalation and then low, medium, high flexing, tensing all of the muscles in the body and then vibrating with will. So you feel you can vibrate your body with will and then an exhale and relax and feel that tension dissolving in the body. So we can send energy throughout our, our whole body and that releases the tension quickly. We'll also be using a technique of measured breathing where we'll be inhaling to a count of eight and then holding to a count of eight and then exhaling to a count of eight. This helps us to get into a level of concentration and then we'll move into Hong Sa. Hong Sa is very simple. It's simply a, on the inhalation, we mentally chant Hong and on the exhalation, Sa. There's another aspect of it that you can add if you're comfortable to and I'll, and I'll guide us when to do it, but it's the right index finger. So when we're breathing in, you can curl the right index finger toward you, and then on the exhale, away from you. So with the palms upturned, like on your junction of your torso and your legs here, you're breathing in and just curling it toward you and then away from you on the exhale. Kind of works like a mala, you know, something, these things are all candy for our minds, you know, so we have these little techniques that we're focusing on that helps us to concentrate. And so before we begin, let's just find a spot where we can get comfortable here. We'll be meditating, sitting here for about 45 minutes and their backs in a straight line, the palms upturned at the junction of the belly and the legs. I like to begin together with a prayer and this is a prayer for joy <laughs> and and the enjoyment of everything with the joy of God and if you're comfortable let's repeat this prayer out loud we can put our hands together in front of the heart closing our eyes you can repeat this prayer out loud O spirit, o spirit teach me to enjoy thee in spirit That I may enjoy the world and my earthly duties. With thy joy. O oh, Spirit. Help me to train my senses. That they enjoy only good things. Teach me to enjoy earthly pleasures with thy joy. Save me above all from the slightest touch of negativity, doubt and cynicism. Om peace. Amen. And let's use this affirmation together. This is some words from uh, my teacher, Swami Kriyananda, he says, happiness is an attitude of mind, born of the simple determination to be happy under all outward circumstances. Happiness lies not in things, nor in outward attainments. It is the gold of our inner nature, buried beneath the mud of our outward sense cravings. When you know that nothing outside you can affect you, no disappointment, no failure, no misunderstanding from others, then you will know that you have found true happiness, 
I'll read that again. When you know that nothing outside you can affect you, no disappointment, no failure, no misunderstanding from others, then you will know that you have found true happiness. Resolve strongly to keep this flame ever burning in your heart. And now, repeating this out loud, we're going to do it five times. First, with a loud, energetic voice. Secondly, with a normal speaking voice. Thirdly, whispering and making your concentration even more focused. And then the fourth time, silently, and then silently again with even deeper concentration. So first with a loud, energetic voice, repeating after me. I vow from today onwards to be happy. I vow from today onwards to be happy. Under every circumstance. Under every circumstance. I came from God's joy. I came from God's joy. I am joy. I am joy. And now with a normal speaking voice, I vow from today onwards to be happy. I vow from today onwards to be happy. Under every circumstance. Under every circumstance. I came from God's joy. I came from God's joy. I am joy. I am joy. And now whispering, I vow from today onwards to be happy. Under every circumstance. I came from God's joy. I am joy. And now silently. I vow from today onwards to be happy. Under every circumstance. I came from God's joy. I am joy. And now, silently again, aiming to lift your consciousness into super consciousness, into your soul awareness, so that these thoughts become deeply, deeply embedded in all levels of your body, mind, and soul. I vow from today onwards to be happy under every circumstance. I came from God's joy. I am joy. O Lord of joy, fill me with boundless happiness, for I am thy child, made in thy blissful image. As thou art joy, so also in my inner self am I. Om. Peace. So let's take a deep breath as if we were breathing in through the heart. Hold the breath and exhale. And now double inhale and tense. Low, medium, high, tensing all the muscles in the body. Exhale, relax. Again, inhale and tense. Low, medium, high, vibrate with energy, drawing energy into the body. Exhale, relax, feel. Inhale, intense. Low, medium, high, vibrating with energy. Exhale, relax. Feel. Letting go of all tension in the body, all cares and worries of the day. Now, let's do a few rounds of measured breathing together. We'll be inhaling slowly to a count of eight, holding to a count of eight, and then exhaling to a count of eight. So take in a deep breath, and all the way out. And now, slowly inhaling. Hold. Exhale. Keeping the gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. 
Inhale. Keeping that gaze uplifted to the point between the eyebrows. Hold. Exhale. Last round. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Breathing normally. Begin to notice the feeling of the breath, the feeling of the breath in the nose. Wherever you feel it the most, perhaps you feel it in the nostrils or a bit higher in the nose. Zoom into that feeling of the breath, letting the breath come and go naturally. Letting it come and go naturally as if it were waves on a seashore, coming and going. And as you zoom into the sensation, the feeling of the breath and the nose, Begin to notice that on the inhalation, you can feel that the breath is a bit cool. And on the exhalation, slightly warm. Becoming more and more relaxed with each breath, enjoying this time, letting go of all thoughts. The world outside is like a movie. Let's press pause on that movie. It'll be waiting for us again when we leave. For now, put all of your awareness into the feeling of the breath in the nose. If you feel the breath in the nostrils, let's move that sensation up now just a bit to the bridge of the nose, where the nose meets the skull. Feel that the breath is coming and going from the bridge of the nose. Noticing that on the inhalation, the sensation is a bit cool. And on the exhalation, you can feel that there's a bit of a warm sensation. Becoming more and more relaxed with each breath. Now, let's move that sensation up again now, just slightly from the bridge of the nose to the point between the eyebrows, the spiritual eye, the seat of superconscious awareness, lifting the gaze up to this point just above the horizon line. 
feel now that the breath is coming and going from the spiritual eye. And now let's add the mantra, Hong Sa, mentally chanting Hong on the inhalation and Sa on the exhalation. You can also now add the right index finger, gently curling it toward you on the inhale, and gently away from you on the exhale. Gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows, feeling the cool and warm sensation at that point. Gaze uplifted, mentally chanting, Hong Sa. Nothing else to worry about, nothing else to do, putting all of your focus and concentration into this simple technique. Find your mind drifting, simply returning to the mantra, returning to the sensation, the feeling of the breath, the point between the eyebrows. Gaze uplifted above the horizon line, mentally chanting Hong Sa. As you chant, you can feel that the breath is making the sounds of this mantra within you. Yogananda tells us that this is a very powerful technique for concentration. And that with concentration, we can heal our minds. 
feel that with this concentration, your mind is healing. And as you become more and more relaxed with each breath, you may notice that the breath becomes a bit shorter and the pauses between breaths become longer. Enjoy these pauses. During the pauses, you can also chant Om, 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 gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows, and letting the breath come and go again naturally. With concentration, cultivates within us a feeling of calmness.
keeping the gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows, feeling the sensations of the breath at the spiritual eye. Feeling the breath is a bit cool on the inhalation and warm on the exhalation. Mentally chanting Hong on the inhale and Saw on the exhale. Let's focus together completely undistracted for 30 seconds. Now, letting go of the focus on the breath, letting go of the mantra. Taking a deep breath as if you were breathing in through your heart. Hold the breath, feel a glowing, swirling ball of light energy in your heart center. Now, consciously move that light up from your heart, up into your throat. Now moving it up again from your throat up to the base of the brain. Now move that light up through the brain to the spiritual eye. Three exhales from that point. <sighs> Keeping the gaze laser focused at the spiritual eye. Breathing normally. Yogananda tells us that the spiritual eye, this point between the eyebrows, is our mental microphone, where it's a spiritual broadcasting station, where we can broadcast our love to the infinite. We can make requests to the infinite source of all creation. The gaze uplifted at this point, fully focused now. Yogananda and the great saints tell us that one of the easiest or most simple ways that we can approach this primal force of all creation is by coming as a child and approaching God as our Divine Mother, who loves us, knows our name, who knows everything we've gone through, can feel us. Become like a child now in front of the Divine Mother. She is always happy to see you. There's no judgment. The gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows. Mentally chant, Om, Om, Om. Now, undistracted as a child of the Divine Mother, gaze uplifted at this spiritual broadcasting station, 
transmit this vibration mentally calling out to the Divine Mother, reveal thyself, reveal thyself. Now begin to notice a feeling, a sensation, a vibration, anything that you can feel in the heart center now. Feel that that vibration is growing stronger. Feel that your inner guru is opening your heart center to receive like a lotus bud the petals of your heart are being opened to receive the light of the sun that is pouring into your heart this vibration is growing stronger feeling now that there is a glowing ball of light in your heart center. That light is spinning and swirling, glowing, amplifying. That light is filling your body now with healing light rays of energy. Begin to notice that this feeling that you feel in your heart is a feeling of peace. Peace that passes all understanding. Peace that goes beyond language. The peace of a night sky. The stars above glowing moon, the peace of the space in this room, enjoying this connection with your Divine Mother, feeling this enjoyable sensation of well-being and peace. Returning, keeping the gaze uplifted to the point between the eyebrows, smiling, enjoying this connection. Call out again, reveal thyself, reveal thyself. Gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows as a child making this connection to the Divine Mother. Reveal thyself. Reveal thyself. Your inner guru is opening your heart wider. The petals of the lotus in your heart are spreading. This light is pouring into your heart. Filling your heart with light. This light is growing brighter and brighter. This light is amplifying and every fiber of your being is now filled with this glowing light energy. Swirling, glowing, rippling light energy spreading through your body, permeating all of your cells, feeling of well-being. Begin to notice that this feeling in your heart is a feeling of calmness. 
calmness is different from peace because calmness is dynamic. That we can attune to this calmness, this refuge within. No matter what is happening in the world around us, no matter if others are afraid, no matter if we're facing difficult situations, this calmness is always available to us. When we're calm, we make good decisions. When we're calm, we attract opportunities. Feel this calmness permeating every fiber of your being. And Yogananda tells us that calmness is invincibility. That with calmness, we can stand unshaken amidst the crash of breaking worlds. Feel this calmness emanating from your heart. This light is growing so bright now that the edges of your body now are blurring with the light in the room around you. This light energy is growing brighter and brighter. We're enjoying this connection with our Divine Mother. Keeping the gaze uplifted at the point between the eyebrows. Enjoying this divine communication. undistracted, not thinking about anything else. As a child, let's offer our love to the Divine Mother at the point between the eyebrows. When we offer our love to her, we create a magnetic field which thereby in turn draws her love to you. In this way, gradually, you become ever more perfectly a channel for this love, drawing her to you on higher and higher levels of divine awareness until your love attains perfection in her. Remember, her love flows to you always, but it is you, by your love, who must complete the circuit, thereby generating the magnetism that can draw to yourself the very consciousness of infinity. Divine Mother is so pleased when we are happy, so pleased that we are realizing that the greatest joy and love exists within us. That this is why we were created. This is why we exist. We were meant to go out into the world and explore all of the material pleasures and suffering of the world. But one day we would come back and we would offer our love at the spiritual eye back to our Divine Mother. She, judge, she does not judge us for anything that we've done. We're meant to explore this planet 
and to realize that all material pleasures pale in comparison with this love that exists within us. With enthusiasm, with love in your heart, with joy in your heart, sending this love energy to your Divine Mother, making up for lost time. This love goes beyond language, it's a feeling, and sending and receiving love is simultaneous. As we send love, feel this love being received in your heart center, enjoying this connection. This feeling is vibrating and glowing, filling your body with love energy. Feeling this love energy, enjoying this connection. Begin to feel a smile spreading across your heart. A smile spreading across your throat. A smile spreading across your mouth. A smile is spreading across your brow. Feeling this joy begin to permeate your being. In India, the word for God is Satchit Ananda. Ever existing, ever conscious ever new bliss. This is what we truly are beyond the body, mind, senses, and ego. This is our infinite abode when we are through learning all the lessons here. We merge again with Satchit Ananda. Feeling this light is emanating out from your heart, is growing brighter and brighter and brighter. The edges of your body blur with the light in the room around you, and this room is filled with glowing diamond light. Now, let's call to mind those that we know who are in need of healing energy that we would like to share this light with. Perhaps you know friends, loved ones who are suffering physically or mentally, or spiritually, suffering from depression, physical ailments, giving up. See them now, say their name or their names in your mind. See them in front of you. See them now bathed in this light. See them beginning to smile back at you. See this light beginning to permeate their body. This light is emanating out from your heart, flowing into their heart. Spend some time with them now. See them smiling back at you as you smile at them. Seeing them happy and free. See them on the other side of any challenge that they've faced and see them better for it. They've learned and grown. They wouldn't trade the experience for anything. Now that light is emanating out from their heart and filling your heart. You're sharing in this loving, blissful vibration.
And now, let's begin to expand this light in all directions, emanating from our heart. This light is expanding, and now it's spilling out of the room into the building, out of the building into the streets, growing now and filling the entire city. This light is spreading, bathing all souls, all beings, all creatures, all atoms are being nourished by this light as it expands now to fill the state or the province that you're in. This light is expanding exponentially now, filling the entire country. Feel that all souls, all beings are receiving this light, becoming more peaceful, more loving, more understanding. This light now is expanding out, filling all the oceans, all oceans now, all lakes, all rivers, all valleys, mountains, trees, grasses, animals, the entire globe now, all countries are being bathed in this light that is wrapping around Mother Earth. See her now floating in space. There is an iridescent rainbow light swirling around Mother Earth. You are allowing her to heal. You are allowing the consciousness on the Earth the vibration, the frequency to rise. And now let's join the Divine Mother in this vibration with a prayer and let's send this energy out in all directions to fill the universe. So repeating this prayer out loud, palms together in front of the heart and then We'll take in a deep breath and we'll chant Om three times. We're going to rub the palms together and send this energy out into the universe. And so bringing the palms together in front of the heart. Let's take in a deep breath. And all the way out. And now repeating out loud after me. Divine Mother, Divine Thou art omnipresent. Thou art in all thy children. Manifest thy healing presence in all bodies, all minds, all souls. Rubbing the hands together, feeling this warm energy, this magnetism in the palms. Taking in a deep breath. Palms up. Sending this energy out through the palms. Peace and joy to you, friends.